evening, I'm Aminata Kamara, your host for tonight. I'm a BBC Radio Leicester presenter for The Vibe Show and I'm the ambassador of the charity awards host, The Mighty Creatives. On behalf of The Mighty Creatives, welcome to the Be Mighty, Be Creative Awards 2020, an annual celebration event hosted by the charity and now in its third year. Okay, so we know this evening has been a long time coming since the postponement of the event in March, but we're so thrilled that you could all join us tonight to help support the mighty creatives and celebrate the amazing work taking place across the East Midlands. We hope to enjoy this special evening in the best way possible, enjoying a few drinks and tonight's celebration programme from the comfort and safety of your homes. So here we are. I hope everyone has enjoyed their drinks and the entertainment so far. It's my pleasure to be here this evening and to host the evening with the team from the mighty creatives. We have some incredible guest speakers this evening. More live music from our live band, The Chase, as well as some fantastic prizes for you to win as we announce the winners of our awards night raffle. And not to forget the announcement of this year's Be Mighty, Be Creative Award winners. But first, we have the first words from the chair of the Mighty Creatives to formally welcome you to tonight's event and programme. We're going to head over to Nottingham now to hear from Chair Felicity Wolf. Over to you, Felicity. To be mighty is to be creative. We know that much already. Our drive is a renowned one, an engine of empowerment, our heart a toll-free motorway pumping access region-wide, merging and emerging, fighting and defending. We filled in the surveys like good tick box others. It's all there. To be mighty is to collect the figures. To be mighty is to untangle them, to feel the injustice within them. Good evening, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, friends and colleagues. These lines are from an especially commissioned poem by Charlie Genova, one of our Emerge Young Artists from 2017. She wrote the poem to mark the launch of our business plan in 2019, but I thought it would be a fitting start to tonight's celebration of children and young people's energy, innovation and creativity. I'd like to welcome you all to our third annual awards evening. Originally, we planned this for March, how long ago that seems now but the event had to be postponed because of the COVID pandemic. While our work has continued uninterrupted in that time, thanks to Nick and the team at TMC, we were unable to focus on the awards evening earlier in the year, as we adjusted to the new normal, something Nick will be talking about later. This evening, I'm very pleased to welcome our new patrons, Mike Batt and Marcellus Baz. We are so delighted that they have agreed to support our charity and our work with and for children and young people. They will each be saying a little bit about themselves and how they will be helping us. Thanks also to all our sponsors, donors and supporters who've made this year's awards possible. We couldn't have done it without you. I'm immensely proud of the efforts of all the TMC team and everything they've done to keep the show on the road during this challenging period. I'd also like to thank my fellow trustees on the board who've given me their wholehearted support, most recently on Zoom, and our partners and specialists who continue to make the work happen across the region on a daily basis. You are all integral to the achievements we recognise here tonight. I congratulate everyone who's been nominated for this year's Be Mighty, Be Creative Awards. You all deserve to be recognised and commended for your work and I salute you. Just a few words about our activity during 2019 and 2020. With core support from Arts Council England, over 150,000 pupils have benefited from ArtsMark in more than 370 settings. Over 5,600 young people have secured their Arts Award qualification. We've invested over 400,000 through our Cultural Life Fund in seven cultural education partnerships, which in turn has generated over 900,000 pounds in match funding, a total of more than 1.3 million to give children and young people access to arts and culture. 
A highlight also funded through Arts Council England was our exciting performance-led project, Splash, which focused on including children and young people with learning difficulties and their families in creative activities linked to the region's canals and waterways. This was delivered through a regional consortium of many different partners led by the Mighty Creatives. With the support of other major funders and sponsors such as Children in Need and Derbyshire County Council, we've also been able to support over 35 young people in care make the difficult transition from care to an independent life through our creative mentoring programme. We're particularly aware that creative activities could not take place without the leadership of artists and arts organisations across the region. This evening, we want to mark the special contribution of Kevin Ryan, for many years CEO of Charnwood Arts, the community arts organisation based in Loughborough, who sadly died this year after a short illness. Kevin took Charnwood Arts from a small local forum into a pioneering nationally and internationally recognised arts charity with partnerships involving local schools, Arts Council England, Leicestershire County Council and the University of Loughborough, to name a few. He was the heartbeat of community arts locally, a keen photographer and practitioner in and outside of his work. We've named an 11th award in his honour and we hope this will be a fitting way to remember him. Thank you again to everyone whose dedication makes the lives of children and young people better, especially at this very difficult and uncertain time. Congratulations and good luck to all our finalists. Now back to our host, Aminata. Thank you so much, Felicity. And as she mentioned, we are here to celebrate a year of exceptional creativity across the region and 11 outstanding categories of work this evening. But first, we would like to take a moment to extend some special thanks to the people and businesses who have made this evening possible. Thank you so much to our event sponsors and hosts for tonight's event. James Bookmar and the team here at the LCB Depot Leicester. What better way to celebrate creativity than at the heart of Leicester's cultural quarter itself? And a huge thank you to all tonight's award sponsors and to the awards panel, some of whom are here with us this evening. Such generous support and without you, none of this would have been possible. The Mighty Creatives have received so many donations and support from new founders over the last year, helping us to reach more children and young people throughout our work, and many of whom are here tonight. All of our sponsors, donors and supporters are detailed in our programme and we are so humbled to have your support this evening. So again, thank you so much. Now, back to the programme. I'm sure by now you are all ready to find out who our award winners are this evening. But first, we would really like to invite the first of our special guest speakers to say a few words this evening. We are delighted to introduce Mike Batt, singer-songwriter and patron of the Mighty Creatives. He's here to explore the importance of the work that we do. So without further ado, over to you, Mike. Hello, and thank you so much for welcoming me to this wonderful virtual room full of virtual people, real people, virtually. And um, I would like, just like to say firstly that I'm thrilled to be asked to be the first patron of the organisation. I do know how much great work it does and um, I suppose before I forget I should thank, now I have a sort of title and therefore a responsibility, I must thank all of those of you who have done far more than I've done for everything that you do to support the organisation whether it's financially or with effort and uh, your talents and all of the things that you do because it is really is very, very valuable. I mean, you know that, that's why you would, otherwise you wouldn't be involved in it, but, and you don't need me to tell you, but I'm here anyway, so that's what I'm saying. I think the artistic development of a young person is dictated very much, of course, by the environment in which that person finds him or herself. Uh, and very often I know that Mighty Creatives has a lot to do with uh, dealing with people who are underprivileged, under 
under opportunized or whatever the word might be they don't have the opportunity they don't have the the materials and more importantly they don't have the influence naturally perhaps at home or whatever um, to be stimulated artistically and stimulating a child artistically is one of the most valuable things one can do even if the child's going to end up being a scientist or design space rockets still lovely to develop and grow through the arts. Personally, my own um, experience of being young and discovering the arts and the effect that they, meaning all of the different arts, had on me was probably just particular and peculiar to my own circumstances, which were that I was brought up in a house where it's middle class, probably lower middle class, I would have thought. Certainly financially, we weren't in any way wealthy. Um, we had four kids. My mum and dad had four kids. He was an engineer. He didn't have any really artistic... Um, he had artistic likings, but they, there was no music in the house, really. They didn't have much more than the, the George Formby records we used to get at the markets, or my dad used to like to pick up... A, um, for the gramophone that he'd, he'd got, you know, it was a gramophone with a horn, you know, that was, but it was for the gramophone more than for the music, really. My mum, however, was a brilliant um, seamstress. She made every stitch of clothes we wore, um, needed to, because we couldn't afford to otherwise. Um, and she also ended up, not ended up, but halfway through her um, time on earth, uh, she became the person who designed and uh, stitched every stitch, no, not every stitch, every other stitch, because she had an assistant, a uh, friend, uh, of all the Womble costumes. And so there I had my principal influencer. And the reason I talk about influences is, is because that's what the mighty creatives are here to do. In my case, I was very lucky. I, I had a very arty mum. She wasn't musical. Uh, I don't know where the music came from. I think it came through the letterbox with Concert Hall Record Club who were offering me free classical records to listen to. Um, the small print, of course, telling me that uh, one day in a few months' time I would have to buy a proper re record from them uh, with my pocket money, which was um, meagre to say the least. But nevertheless, it hooked me into classical music. And th then the Beatles came along almost simultaneously in 1962, 63, when I was 12, 13-ish. And I was just, what's the word, consumed by all of this music. I had a mum who was constantly drawing and painting cartoons. She was an art teacher. So I was, I was already being heavily influenced. I was, I'm one of the lucky ones. Anyway, I, I'm not digressing because I'm making this very, I think, important point that who you have around you, um, if you're in care, for example, as a child, you're the prime thing that is being um, given to you is shelter, uh, education, uh, your pet, your foster parents, or your your um, the people who run the establishment that that you're being looked after in. Their prime uh, thing is to make sure that you're fed, clothed looked after and that you, your behaviour uh, com, uh, conforms with being respectful to other people and being respected by other people. Uh, and so all of those social uh, things that are paramount are things that in other households and other worlds, really, um, in terms of people's social place or um, place to be I'm talking about, not, not, not status, of course. They're a given, really. Uh, if you have parents and people around you and teachers who are showing you paintings or showing you how to paint or uh, playing you music. My um, screen's gone off at the back. I hope you'll excuse that. Um, how do I know that? It's behind me. <laughs> Science, you see. Uh, anyway, where was I? Oh, yes, so I am deeply, deeply grateful to have been given the opportunity to step into this role 
uh, which I know is not a responsibility that must be taken lightly. And I am very mega impressed by all the work that Mighty Creatives do. Whether you're a nominee or a winner, you're still a winner because everyone's a winner, baby. That's no lie. As, of course, sung by my great dear friend, dear departed friend, sadly, Errol Brown of Hot Chocolate, the band. To try is to win because if you don't try, it's like my wife says, if you, you can't win a raffle if you don't have a ticket. The, in this case, the ticket is the effort you put in. And not everybody's born with that hope. Not everyone's born with that feeling that they're worth it, that they can do it. I certainly wasn't. I didn't think, I thought there must be people who were able to write songs, hit songs, that is, and people who w just weren't going to be able to write them. And then one day I wrote one, and uh, that's, so that, that wasn't a very good theory. That went out the window, and that gave me extra confidence. I think when you've got children, uh, young people, who are not naturally surrounded by art and artists, to bring it into their lives is a absolutely fantastic, valuable thing to do. Do be aware that you're doing a great job because whether you're funding it or giving the talent or your time and your time, uh, it's a marvellous, valuable thing that you're doing. And I do congratulate everyone who's involved. So to Nick and all the team and everybody else who's the support that they have uh, built around them. Thank you all, and uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, next part, which is the awards. And thank you for welcoming me into your family of the Mighty Creatives. Thank you, Mike. What a way to see us into our next performance of the evening. So we'd like to welcome the band, The Chase, to the stage. So sit back, enjoy, grab another drink, and I'll see you in a few minutes.
Thank you to tonight's band. The Midlands is full of creative talent emerging in the wings and how we continue to nurture this talent and grow the skills of a creative generation for the next 10 years and beyond is in our hands. We will look ahead at the Mighty Creators' plans for addressing this challenge and the future plans of the charity with Nick Owen a little later in the programme. Now, next up tonight, I would like you to invite the second of our special guest speakers to say a few words this evening. We are delighted to have Marcellus Baz, CEO of the charity Switch Up, BBC Sports Personality of the Year, Unsung Hero 2016, and newly appointed patron of the Mighty Creatives. He's here to explore the importance of the work we do across the region with vulnerable children and young people. So without further delay, let's go straight across to Marcellus in Nottingham. Hi, I'm Marcellus Baz. I'm the CEO of Switch Up and the Managing Director of Nottingham School of Boxing. We work with vulnerable young people across Nottinghamshire and we help them to be able to come out of a life of crime or complex issues um, or, or, you know, coming from a deprived, marginalised background and we help them to transition into employment training and education. I am absolutely delighted to be here with you this evening. And I've got a, a massive announcement as well. I've been invited to become a patron for the Mighty Creatives, which is absolutely amazing. I'm absolutely honored um, and, and humbled to uh, become a patron for such an amazing organization that does some phenomenal work, you know, right across the East Midlands and beyond. So for me, you know, one of my passions is to help young people that are coming from vulnerable, deprived backgrounds um, into employment, training and education. And we come up against some massive hurdles. You know, some of these young people are coming from, um, you know, a very difficult life. Um, they're carrying childhood adverse trauma. They may have all different complex issues. Um, you know, uh, uh, fa families, you know, dysfunctional families, single parents, it's, it can be very, very difficult. And it's absolutely imperative that, you know, we provide um, young people with different forms of reaching their true potential. And, you know, what we've been looking at lately, you know, the system is about academic stuff, academic stuff. And, you know, sometimes people may have complex, young people may have complex issues and they may not be great at academic things, but you put them, you know, you show their creativity and you show them arts and, and culture and they're absolutely thriving. So this is why the mighty creatives are giving some young people something different something that they can really help nurture and help them thrive in their abilities and talents to become a taxpaying member of our community and you know the work that the mighty creatives are doing um is phenomenal because we really do need to give young people alternatives different options you know we all have a different purpose in life and you know arts and culture have been put on the back burner for a long long time but not anymore because we are the mighty creatives and we are going to give young people the opportunities they truly deserve. Congratulations and good luck to all the finalists that are shortlisted for an award this evening. Honestly, we're absolutely proud of you, whether you win or lose, but make sure you have a fantastic evening. Um, that's it from me this evening. I'm absolutely honoured to be able to speak to you guys today. Um, I'm going to pass it back on to Amanita. Thanks, Marcellus. So this takes us nicely into the next part of the evening, the part we have all been waiting for, the Be Mighty, Be Creative 2020 Awards Ceremony. And you will see from your program, we have 11 categories this evening. We received nominations from across the region this year, from east to west, north to south, with 11 specialist awards being made by the panel. So thank you to all of our panel members for taking the time to shortlist and make the decision on 33 finalists this year. 
So without further delay, let's get down to the awards. And to announce the winners this evening, we would like to invite our supporters, sponsors and team members from across the region. The recipient of the Be Mighty, Be Creative Awards have demonstrated excellence in their work. And this is recognised today by the award panel. By making these awards, we're recognising the celebration, the innovative practice taking place across the region with our partnership across education, community and business. And presenting the first awards this evening are our sponsors, Next PLC. Hi, my name's Andrea and I'm from the charity team here at Next Leicester. We are delighted to be presenting this evening the Creative Learning Award. This category recognises an educational setting where children and young people are supported to achieve the highest level of education through creative teaching and learning. Nominations were invited from organisations from across the education and cultural sector, sector that could demonstrate innovative educational practice and added value to the educational experiences of children and young people. The shortlisted nominees are Berry Hill Primary School and Karina Brown, Redlands Primary and Nursery School, Stone Soup Academy. Here we go. And the winner is Berry Hill Primary School and Karina Brown. Congratulations from everyone here at NEXT. The next award is the Creative Leader Award and we welcome James Brindle, an ambassador for the Mighty Creatives to present it. Over to you, James. Good evening, my name is James Brindle. I'm an ambassador for the Mighty Creatives. Outstanding leaders support creativity, leadership, and have a huge impact on those they are championing. It's my great pleasure tonight to announce the award for the Creative Leader Award 2020. The shortlisted nominations are Caroline Barth, Chris Howarth, Mella Community Primary, and Naji Richards. The winner tonight is Naji Richards, congratulations. The next award to be presented is the Primary Schools Award for the Best Creative Project. Good evening. I am Janice Owen, a cultural heritage guide from Nottingham and an ambassador for the Mighty Creatives. This category is for an inspirational creative learning project or programme based in a primary setting. Cultural education doesn't have to be confined to art, music or drama. There is room for it across the whole curriculum. The arts have the power to engage all children in the learning experience, to enrich the curriculum, bring subjects to life and broaden subject matter. Creative projects and partnerships in schools, partnering with external organisations, help children connect to quality experiences, resulting in significant impact. Tonight, we recognise some astounding examples of this work nominated for the award. The shortlisted nominations are Mellor Primary School, Pennine Way Junior Academy, the Glossop and New Mills Arts Cluster. And the winner is... Congratulations to Pennine Way Junior Academy. Well done, everybody. Thank you.
The next award to be presented is the Secondary Schools Award for Best Creative Project. And to present this award is Deputy CEO from the Mighty Creatives, Emily Bowman. Good evening, Emily. Good evening, everyone. This is Lincolnshire calling. We have seen some outstanding work across our categories this evening and I'm so proud to be announcing the nominees and winner of this next award. This category is for an inspirational creative learning project or programme based in a secondary school setting. With the continuing decline of teaching of art subjects across our region, many young people are losing access to creative learning. Programmes like Artsmark and Arts Award offer another way for schools to bring back arts into their curriculum and this is why our work is so important. Helping schools to invest in creativity which is vital to young people's futures. Delivering creative projects in secondary schools can be challenging but when successful can produce some amazing results and that is what we are here to celebrate tonight. So. The shortlisted nominees for this category are Fountaindale School, Queen Elizabeth High School, Gainsborough, Young Company, Create. And the winner is Fountaindale School. Huge congratulations to Fountaindale School. Well done. Have a lovely evening. This award is the Creative Community Award, sponsored this evening by the East Midlands Chamber of Commerce. Please welcome the team to present the award. Evening everybody, I'm Lucy Robinson from East Midlands Chamber. The Creative Community Award is an award recognising innovative and collaborative partnerships where children, young people and adults are combining resources to help every child succeed. This award is presented in recognition of an outstanding multi-partner programme, project or team that has made the most demonstrable improvement to children and young people's lives through arts, culture and creative practice. So the shortlisted nominations are Derby Theatre, Sarah Curson and Ripley St John C Primary School, the Toy li Library and Nonsuch. And the winner is Derby Theatre. Well done. Congratulations to the award winner, Derby Theatre. It's now time for our next performance set and a short interval for those who want to grab a drink or to take a quick comfort break. So we'd like to welcome the band, The Chase, to the stage, who will be entertaining us during the next 10 minutes.
Welcome back. Thanks once again to our band this evening. Definitely one to watch out for in the future. So back to the awards this evening, and the next award to be presented is the Creative Voice Awards. Now this award has been sponsored by the trustees of the Mighty Creatives, and to present the award this evening are our very own colleagues from the Board of Trustees. Good evening. Hi, and good evening. The trustees are delighted to have sponsored an award this evening. This category is to recognise an outstanding creative ambassador, a young person who's making an impact by championing and promoting creativity in the region. Here at the Mighty Creatives, we fight for the creative voice of children and young people as a central pillar of our charitable mission. We strive to ensure more children and young people get the opportunity to experience and engage in arts and culture, no matter who they are or where they're from. Providing equitable access is part of our vision for change in the region. We want to support children and young people so that they can use creative experiences to develop skills and make change happen in their lives. The panel received nominations for some outstanding examples of innovative work across the region. The shortlisted nominations are 1. Jenny Hibbard 2. Katie Owens and Jade Taylor 3. Oscar White And the winner is... Jenny Hibbard Congratulations to Jenny Hibbert. Now the next awards to be presented are the Young and Emerging Artist Awards. And these awards have been generously sponsored by Jim Shields, director of Twist and Shout in Leicester. Hi there, my name's Jim Shields and uh, I'm the founder of Twist and Shout Communications in Leicester at the LCB. And I'm here today to announce two awards for the Mighty Creatives Awards today. The 9 to 15 age group for emerging artists and the 16 plus age group for emerging artists. Given what we've been through over the years, we're going to need some pretty creative people to help us move forward and, and come up with creative solutions to some pretty big problems in the future. We also need artists to help connect our divided communities and communicators and creatives to bring people together and provide entertainment and creativity and art for us all to escape to when things get tough. One of the most rewarding parts for the guys at The Mighty Creatives is knowing that the people with whom they work today will be some of the leading creatives and artists of tomorrow. And judging from the incredible levels of skill and commitment and motivation and creativity and courage that they see on a daily basis here in the East Midlands, the future looks pretty bright. These two categories recognise emerging talent. Firstly, the Young Artist Award is an award recognising achievement in arts and cultural practice led by children and young people aged 9 to 15. The Emerging Artists Award recognises an individual practitioner or producer doing amazing creative work and inspiring children and young people in their work aged 16 to 30. The shortlisted nominations for these categories are Sophie Gilbraith, Bilal Saeed and Babuti Dinesh. And here is the winner for the first category. The winner for the Emerging Artist Award in the 9 to 15 age group category goes to Sophie Gilbraith. And the winner for the Emerging Artist Award in the 16 to 30 category, that award goes to Bilal Saeed. Congratulations, guys. All the best for the future, and, and well done. That 
That's fantastic. I recall my early career as a creative director and there's so much amazing talent across the region with so many opportunities to use that creative skill set. The next award to be presented is the Creative Enterprise Award. And this award has been generously sponsored by the LCB Depot in Leicester. And to present this, we have asked James Berkmar and the team from the LCB Depot. Please welcome our sponsor. Good evening, everyone. My name is James Burkmar, and I'm the Workspace Manager here at the LCB Depot, Leicester City's Creative Industries Hub, based in the Cultural Quarter. We know that providing talent development opportunities that give 16 to 25 year olds the skills and confidence they need to progress in today's creative industries is key to the work of the mighty creatives. The Mighty Creatives offer free training, advice and information to individual freelancers, sole traders and micro-businesses who are looking to turn their creative talent into a business in the creative industries. This is an award, the Creative Enterprise Award, which recognises a new business startup, a new creative entrepreneur helping to shape solutions, deliver services or possibly address social challenges through their own creativity. And for this award, the shortlisted nominations by the panel are the Freedom Foundation, Community Interest Company, Kerry Hogwood, the Royal and Derngate Arts Leaders. So, the winner is Kerry Hogwood. Congratulations, Kerry. The next award to be presented this evening is the Creative Fundraiser of the Year Award. And this award has been sponsored by True MSP and here to present that award is director, Tim Rook. Good evening. True MSP are proud to be sponsoring this award for the second year. Fundraisers are often the unsung heroes of so much of the work that takes place in the arts, cultural and education sectors. In a world where, with ever decreasing budgets and competition for financial support, the joy of asking for cash is not one many will relish or indeed can be creative in their pursuit of doing so. The award this evening celebrates those outstanding fundraisers that go above and beyond in their fight for creativity. The doers, the no-quitters, the optimists, and the go-getters that raise the vital funds to change the lives of children and young people in the region. The shortlisted nominations are Baston CE Primary School, Sherwood Williamson, and Soft Touch Arts. And the winner is Soft Touch Arts. Congratulations to Soft Touch Arts. Thank you, True MSP. Now our special and 11th award this evening is a new award for 2020, the Kevin Ryan Community Creative Hero Award. And this award is made in memory of Kevin Ryan, a dear friend and colleague of the Mighty Creatives who died earlier this year following a short illness. Kevin was a successful CEO of Charmwood Arts, a community arts organisation based in Loughborough. He took the company from a small local forum to a pioneering nationally and internationally recognised arts charity with partnerships involving local schools, Arts Council England, Leicestershire County Council and the University of Loughborough, to name just a few. Now, he was the heartbeat of the community's arts locally, a keen photographer and practitioner in and outside of his work. Now with this award, the Mighty Creative set out to recognise the creative people across the region who have gone the extra mile to help their children and young people, their families and local community during the COVID-19 crisis. Nominations were invited from individuals from creative communities right across the region who deserve recognition for their extraordinary acts in supporting their community over the last six months. 
Now we looked at those individuals who have gone the extra mile in using their creativity to support their community during these unprecedented times. And the nominees shortlisted are Abby Canning, Louise Jaggard, Chris Lewis-Jones, Trisha Gardner, Rosemary McLennan, and Shazia Mahola. And the winner is Chris Lewis-Jones. Congratulations, Chris. What a wonderful way to close the award presentation this evening. But wait, there's just one final prize in the evening to announce, and that's the Best Dressed Guest Award. And yes, there's always a reason to put on your best attire, even on Zoom. So here goes. And the winner of the award this evening can now be found live in the chat. Check it out now for tonight's winner. Congratulations to the winner. And to claim your prize, please contact the team at TMC. Details will be shared at the end of tonight's programme. So what an amazing set of awards winners we have this evening. Congratulations to every single one of you and to all of our nominees for the outstanding work you've presented to our panel. And to the winners, your award will be on its way to you in just a couple of days. Again, to all of our nominees, the standard of our applications received was very, very high. And the showcase of the amazing work taking place across the region was just phenomenal. And to all of our nominees and winners shortlisted tonight, you can all be found on the TMC website straight after this event. So ladies and gentlemen, that takes us into our final part of this evening, the raffle. Thank you to all of you who generously made a donation or contribution in lieu of our traditional raffle ticket selling this evening. We are so very, very grateful for all of your support. Every one pound of your donation will go directly to the work of the Mighty Creatives and support more of our work with the children and young people across the region who need us the most. The main raffle draw was made during the award ceremony and conducted independently, observed by TMC staff team members. And the winning ticket numbers are on the screen right now. This slide with the winning tickets will be displayed again at the end of tonight's programme. Congratulations to all of our award winners. To collect your prize, please contact the Mighty Creatives Office with your winning programme ticket. The team will ensure your prize makes its way to you in the post. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's almost our evening coming to a close. But before we do, one final time, we would like to invite Dr. Nick Owen, Chief Executive of the Mighty Creatives, to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chief Executive of the Mighty Creatives, Dr. Nick Owen. To be mighty is to keep on doing, to see young as a doing word. Young poet, young confidence, young leader, young purpose, young festival, young teacher, young dancer, young education, young skill, young conference, young artist, young will. There were four million children living below the poverty line in England in 2017, two thirds of whom live in working households. According to the Child Poverty Action Group, Child poverty is projected to increase in the East Midlands from 29.3% in 2006 to 36.2% by 2021. And those figures were estimates before the COVID-19 pandemic kicked in earlier this year. All the signs are that child poverty is going to worsen in the years to come. But poverty isn't just a matter of finance. Many children, young people and families face a poverty of access to educational, cultural and social opportunities, aspiration, progression and achievement. We know though that the arts and creativity are critical in the fight against child poverty. 
They provide access to personal, educational, social and economic opportunities which transform the lives of children and young people. And we've seen and heard many examples tonight where our friends and colleagues have been stepping up to that challenge. We at The Mighty Creatives have not shirked our responsibilities either in stepping up to that challenge since the onset of the pandemic. The dawn of the so-called new normal back in March saw us responding by investing directly into the cultural sector and young people themselves. We commissioned young people, freelancers and cultural organisations. We delivered thousands of arts and crafts packs to food banks around the region in partnership with Arts Council England and the Crafts Council. And our whole team responded magnificently to the 2.6 Challenge charitable fundraising campaign. Our joint efforts raised over £5,000 in donations and this contributed directly to securing over £75,000 for young people in care who were transitioning to independence at a time when the whole world seemed to be transitioning to uncertainty, fear and anxiety about their future. I'd like to offer my heartfelt congratulations to all the winners and finalists on this year's awards you are all fantastic examples of how young people can harness the power of arts and creativity to transform your lives, your communities and your futures. Or, oh, in the words of Charlie Geneva, that's all we're doing really. Passing on the things we've learnt, the love we believe and what our mighty vision hopes to achieve. And you, my love, for reading this are mighty too. You feel our fight hear our voice, and we hope you will fall in love with our story. Thank you to Aminata Kamara, our hosts, to all our sponsors, and to our media team making tonight's event possible in these very challenging times. Thank you as well to Mike Batt, Marcellus Baz, and Felicity, and the whole team at The Mighty Creatives. And finally, to the audience for your support tonight. Good night from us all here at The Mighty Creatives, and thank you. Thank you, Nick. So that's it for tonight's celebration here in Leicester. Thank you for joining us this evening and a huge congratulations to every single one of our winners. The night doesn't have to stop here. Join us for a few after party drinks and chat in our live Zoom lounge. If we don't see you there, thank you for coming. Good night, stay safe, stay mighty and stay creative. Good night.